Jeff Tones with Garlock Cellular Technologies. And today we're in our, our video, we're going to go through the installation of a tough rail gasket and a manway assembly. The tools you'll need for the installation are a torque wrench, thread lubricant, and a wire brush to clean the threads of the bolts before assembling the gasket in the manway. Our manway assembly is an AAR-1. There are over 45 different manways currently used in the rail industry today. This particular one is one of the more popular ones. So let's get started with our installation. So the first thing we're going to do is carefully open up the manway. The next thing we're going to do is verify that the surface of the manway lid is in good working condition. That there's no severe scratches, dings, dents, or other damage to the surface. We also want to do the same validation on the nozzle assembly. You can see these are in pretty good condition. So an AAR1 manway has a dovetail type groove in it which is designed to hold the gasket in place when it moves. So with the manway installation, you simply put the gasket in place, press it down, and slide your fingers around the assembly until the gasket snaps in. And unlike traditional rubber gaskets, the tough rail gasket is rigid enough to actually hold itself in place and it will not fall out during the installation process or during the actual opening and closing of the manual. Then we're going to carefully lower the lid into place. And this particular manway has eight bolts on it. Some of them use six instead of eight. So these swing bolts, as they're called, typically are held in place with a pin on the side here. Now, under normal conditions out in the field, this is where the wire brush is going to come in because you want to make sure these threads are clean and in good working condition. We also want to put a thread lubricant on here to maximize the amount of twisting action here creating force down on the gasket itself. So when we bring the bolts up into place, You'll notice each one has a hard and flat washer, which helps with load translation. And in our manway here, you can see the numbering that exists on the manway lid. This helps us to keep track of where we're tightening the bolts. We want to use a crossing pattern when we tighten the bolts to ensure that everything is evenly loaded. Now, when it comes time for torque values, it's important to recognize that manways can come with either a 7 8 inch or a 1 inch bolt. They also can use lower strength A307 bolts or higher strength A193 B7 bolts. It's very important to know what size and what grade bolt you have because that will determine how much torque you can achieve. In this particular case, these are 7 8 inch A307 grade bolts, which are a lower strength bolt, therefore we're going to keep lower torque value. One of the greatest benefits of the tough rail gasket is the product is able to seal it at varying ranges of torque value. So even if you have a low strength bolt with only 6 bolts versus 8, it has the ability to seal it at very low torque of only 50 foot pounds. Likewise, if you do have a higher number of bolts, 8 bolts, with a 1 inch bolt inside, the top rail gasket can handle extremely high torque values, upwards of 250 foot pounds. So when the assembly is performed and when the torquing procedure is performed, you want to make sure to use a crossing pattern as we mentioned, and that basically ensures that everything goes down nice and even. We're also going to want to use multiple passes. So if our target torque is 80 foot pounds, let's say, the first thing we want to do is make sure everything is finger tight. Then the next thing we want to do is using a crossing pattern, snug the bolts. Then we want to use at least one to two steps before we get 80 foot pounds. So maybe 40 foot pounds and then go up to 80 foot pounds. And that will basically help us ensure that the gasket is compressed. Once it's finally in compression, we're going to make one final pass all the way around the bolts, which is going to ensure that all the bolts are in final form. And that's the simple installation of the tough rail gasket. So if you have any questions about the installation or the use of the Garlock tough rail gasket or any of our other Garlock products, feel free to contact Application Engineering at 308-336-1000.
Thank you.